Hi guys, it's your girl Nene Leaks, and I am back for another episode of Pillow Talk. Oh my God! Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with all of your friends and family. I'm so excited to be here doing this for you. So, my last pillow talk. Let's get into it. So I got so many comments and so many people reaching out to me about my last pillow talk. So I had a dinner uh, maybe one hour ago with one of my good girlfriends. We share a lot of conversations together and stuff like that. And uh, she was saying to me, Nene, I saw your uh, pillow talk. And I was like, yeah, yeah, so what do you think about it? And she was like, oh my God, I thought it was so interesting. And she sparked a lot of conversation in me. One being, I was telling her a story about, um, you know, we were talking about how men are out here today in the streets and how the narcissists are. And um, I was saying to her that, and I, I, there's probably a lot of other women that feel the same way, I don't know. But, so let me know in the comments down below. So I was telling her that um, I recently had this doctor's appointment and you know when you go to the doctor sometimes they have they give you a clipboard and tell you to fill out all this information and stuff so i was filling out the information and they asked for my emergency contact and i got really emotional in the office it came out of nowhere because i literally was looking at the paper like emergency contact like who is my emergency contact or who is it that i will want somebody to call in case something happens and I um in any uh any other case I would have them to reach out to my husband and so I had to start thinking about like who my emergency contact would be and my emergency contact um, I put my son down as my emergency contact in the past I listed my husband as my emergency contact so I start thinking and saying um, you know maybe I should just marry whether I'm 100% happy with the person or not. Maybe I should marry just so that I have a partner, you know, a partner for life, right? And I was thinking about having a partner for life, even though I know the person isn't right for me. I'm just thinking having a partner for life, at least there's someone, maybe we would have an agreement that this person would be there for me and I would be there for them doing uh, hard times or medical times or something like that. And so she and I was throwing this conversation back and forth and um, So we were throwing this conversation back and forth. And um, I feel like the reason why I want to talk about it because I feel like there's many women who would feel like, I know this guy is not the right guy, but maybe we are cool enough or friendly enough or we like each other enough where we maybe we should get married and we're just partners for life but being partners for life you know kind of means that you know he will see whoever he wants to see i will see whoever i want to see and we will be there for each other during hard times and um but doing that you have to know that 
That person will probably be talking to other people and loving other people. And they're just with you, you know, through the hard times. And I was saying to my girlfriend that um, I considered it, but I know that it's not who I am as a person. Like I really would want to be with somebody that really loves me and really you know, really wanted to be there for me. Like, how horrible would that be? Like, being sick or even on your deathbed and you have a person that's there that's just there. So, I was telling her on my emergency contact, I put my best friend's name down, Michelle. Because it's a true saying that friends become family. And she's like, my family. And I don't have anybody to put down other than my children. I don't have anybody that I'm close enough with or I trust or who would I put down? I've always in the past put down my husband. So I feel like women, as they're getting older, or I don't like to use the word older. I like to use the word mature or more mature. Or for women who are becoming more and more mature, they... Uh, may consider things like this, like dating a guy or marrying a guy who would just be your partner for life. You know that they'll help you when you're sick and take care of you and that kind of thing. And But you know at the same time that they're probably out seeing other people or talking to other people, that kind of stuff. And so that's the conversation she and I had over dinner. Um, um, it's a sad conversation, and I don't want to really walk in, in that place. I don't really want to be talking to a guy or, 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 or making an arrangement with a guy where you're just my life partner for we're here for each other for like emergency stuff, but there's nothing else really, and I don't really want that for myself. I, I honestly really, really don't. Um, I don't want to keep talking about that because that makes me really, really emotional. Um, I, I, I I read the blogs. You guys know that. I read some of the stuff. I don't read everything. People send me all kind of stuff. I don't always read everything. Um, <clears throat> I know that um, Peter Thomas was on ATLN with Michelle and he had said that Nini and Yanni, you know, they go back and forth. They're together. They're not together. They're together. They're not together. They go back and forth. They go back and forth. And I just think that people sometimes get the wrong information and get the wrong message because they're hearing it from one side. Like if that's your friend, then your friend is likely, not everybody, because I don't do that, but some people do. They're likely telling you their side of the story. They're not telling you the whole side of the story. And um, I will tell you an experience I had uh, with a guy. Let's put it like that. So I was talking on the phone to this guy and um, we were having a disagreement. We were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I heard him say, uh, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Put your phone on mute, put your phone on mute. And I thought he was talking to me. So I put my phone on mute. And then suddenly, you know, it was a quick little pause and then he came back and he was like, yeah, you disrespecting me. You disrespecting me. You think you gonna always disrespect for me? You just said this. You said I, I said. Nobody said anything for a few minutes. And I thought, well, he must be talking to me. So I took my phone off of the mute and I said, "Hello." And he said, "Hello." You heard what I said. You disrespecting me. You disrespect me. And I said, "Excuse me. Who are you talking to?" Long story short, he had added his friend onto the call and he wanted his friend to hear us in an argument and 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 for his friend to believe and think that I was disrespecting him now what the friend don't know is the backstory to the things that he was saying the things that he was doing prior to you adding your friend onto the phone call you get what I'm saying so anyway there's a lot of different men out here. And to go back to the Peter story, um, 
let me just say this. I don't want to be politically correct. So just know that you need to mind your business. Okay. Because you don't know the backstory, Peter. So you need to get your story right and get your facts right before you start engaging in someone else's relationship. That would be the best thing for you to do. Because obviously if that's your friend, your friend is always going to tell you, um, their side of the story, but they're not necessarily telling you the whole side of the story. And that is exactly what narcissists do. So that's that on, on that. That's that on that. How about that? Come on and get this, honey. Come on and get this, honey. Come on and get this, honey. Come on and get this. Honey, come on and come on, come on and come on, yeah. come on and come on, come on and come on, come, come on and come on, come, come on and come on, yeah. come on and come on, come on and come on, come on and yeah, I'm sweeter than some burger.